Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to boot your Raspberry Pi off a hard disk. So let's get started. So guys, as you may know, Raspberry Pis are development boards themselves. Why would you want to boot it off a hard drive? Now, it's becoming more and more popular that Raspberry Pis are starting to become desktop computers, like little tiny micro desktop computers. And you don't want to run a desktop environment off SD card because that would just literally burn through the SD cards like nothing. So you want to run these off hard drives. And Raspberry Pi gives you the ability to do so. So why not? So to begin, we're going to need a Raspberry Pi, an SD card, and a USB hard drive. Go download the latest image of Raspbian. As of April, this is officially baked into the kernel, so you don't have to do all the Nix branch and all that stuff to the kernel just to get this option. Once you download it, burn the same image onto the hard drive itself and onto the SD card. Now, if you're using Etcher, you might have to turn off the unsafe feature or turn on the unsafe feature. Yeah, just check it off, and then you should be able to see your hard drive. Once you burn the two images, don't disconnect them yet. You want to still be able to modify the config.txt files. We're going to add a little tiny line on the bottom of each one, on the hard drive and on the SD card. Once you're done with that, stick it back into the Raspberry Pi and boot it from the SD card. This will actually set the parameter to allow the Raspberry Pi to boot from hard drive. Once you boot it for the first time, it's going to do its little thing. You don't have to really worry about it, but once you're done, reboot it. So for what I did just to speed up the process, I dropped right into terminal and just sit, hit sudo reboot. Once I reboot it, I gave it like a couple of seconds so I could see the four little icons and then I just unplugged it. Then I took out the SD card, left the hard drive plugged in, powered it back on and voila, everything is booting from the hard drive itself. So that's basically it. So enjoy your Raspberry Pi with the added benefit of the hard drive and now you could actually create a swap file and stuff like that so you can run bigger programs. All right, so thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you guys got any questions about it, hit in the comments below. If you guys feel like this video was a little bit too short, that's because there's really not much I could beat the bush with on this video. I mean, it's just a quick command that you put up. But if you want to know the command line and everything, hit up my website, links down below. If you're new to this channel, hit that little subscribe button and that little bell notification so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.